in the name of Jesus I want you to receive this from the depth of your heart like fire from heaven right now upon us many who are hungry to receive this grace that is higher than silver and gold I stretch my hands as God has granted the grace to bring this truth to you I speak to someone the grace that causes men to rise up and walk receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now higher spiritual dimensions receive it right now higher prophetic dimensions receive it right now the spirit of revelation at a higher dimension receive it right now the grace for prayer and supplication receive it right now I activate your prophetic encounters at a frequency you have never seen I speak to you spiritually rise up and walk financially rise up and walk in your career rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and run rise up and fly rise up and soar rise up and break limits rise up and break boundaries in the name of Jesus rise up and do what has never been done rise up and surpass ordinary standards in the mighty name of Jesus the spirit that comes into men and causes them to rise and to fly in destiny I have made that grace rest upon you May that unction rest upon you. May that increase in that anointing. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. And everything keeping you down. In spite of the fact that Peter and John. God's vessels. Are already within your vicinity. And yet there are things keeping you down. I don't care what they are. I crush them for your sake forever. I crush them for your sake forever. In the name of Jesus. And I declare over someone. We don't know how old that man was. We were not given the privilege to know how long his condition was. But one thing we know is that from a baby to an adult is at least 18 years when that man was met we do not see him carrying any semblance of a baby the bible will identify young men as young men like the rich young ruler but this man certainly was not a young man so it is safe to assume that from birth until the time was at least 18 years i don't know how long your challenges have lasted there is a word I want to introduce to your life is the word immediately the Bible says immediately you would think the longevity of the trouble the calamity would make his healing be gradual but the Bible says immediately another word for immediately is speedy manifestation that is my prophetic word over you let there be speedy manifestations let there be speedy manifestations speedy manifestations of prophecy speedy manifestations of grace of favor of lifting of new levels of a new chapter in the name of Jesus please hear me for some of you, as you return, as you come for the miracle service, you are not just going to come to testify. You 
are going to come to draw those who will come and testify. Because I am not only standing as Peter and John. I am releasing upon you. Now that you have arisen in the name of Jesus, be Peter and John to someone else. I say it again, be Peter and John to a family. Be Peter and John to a business. Be Peter and John to a ministry. Agents of change, careers of the anointing, conduits of spiritual possibilities. In the name of Jesus. That as you come for the miracle service next week, for some of you, whole families will follow you. Listen. The Bible says, the man who was healed clung to Peter. He went wherever Peter went. In the name of Jesus, by reason of this grace, I forbid you from coming to the house of God alone. Your impact in the life of families will be too significant for them to watch you go to church alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, 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 glory be to God. 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 I, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, say glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Ay, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hear me, hear me, in the name of Jesus. Father, what chariot should I be joining in this season? What partnerships do I need in this season? to break out of and to become part of who is an ally indeed in this season it will not come by physical appearance you will need the ability to see what should I be studying and meditating upon right now what business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years don't assume the seen eye is the solution Take a minute and pray. You are praying. Don't be distracted. Arando salika rikusi afaratusia. Tosamalanda farekuska debrash. And those who are following online, you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous. Miraculous and marvelous. The gift of sight. The seeing eyes. He said, Blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for the hear.
Hey, 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 glory be to God. Just listen. Hey, 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 glory be to God. 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 Hallelujah, 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 glory be to God, hi, 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 glory be to God, in the name of Jesus, upon someone's eye. The grace to see Parika Toshkele Baranta Diapa Receive that grace now Receive the gift of sight now Hear me Let me start with those called into the prophetic In the name of Jesus Paraka Toshkele Aparatos Yata a heavy grace from heaven let it rest upon you now take that grace now anyone here under the sound of my voice called to operate in the prophetic office i activate that grace to see now And declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your wealth, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shalega para Another measure. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, what you have never seen in scripture, I open your eyes to begin to see it. 
I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated. The word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy. I decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you. I stretch my hands. Receive a fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. Adonai. Adonai. Hear me. Every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made. Some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God. Come out of that situation now. Come out of that situation now. A miracle services next week but please allow me to speak over your finances there is something your eyes needs to see I want to pray for you can I tell you this listen your wealth is not everywhere don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon you will get into trouble until you deplete yourself just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you you have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again, may nothing take you unawares. That before it happens, by the power of sight, may you see it. So that if you have to stop it, you stop it from happening. And if you have to allow it, then you allow it happen. Hear me? By the gift of sight, you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you. Let me repeat it again. You will never enter any vehicle that will kill you. Amen. 
Let me give you a disclaimer. Many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions. Listen. Never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word. I need to give you this disclaimer. No matter how accurate what you have seen is, when you get up, do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible, seek godly counsel. I'm saying this to you because there are many people and impartation like this is very risky because when your eyes are open, you will see all kinds of things and Satan can appear as an angel of light. Are we together? Yeah. The devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see. And you may see things or God can give you correct visions. And here comes Satan with wrong interpretations of it. And you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision. And it will end up misleading you and misleading others. No matter what I see, I have to confirm it with scripture. And where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret, I will consult with those who have gone ahead of me and open up my heart and say, I've seen something like this. Sir, what do you see? What can you say about it? And sometimes they will say, don't worry. Give me a few days. Let me pray about it. Ah, this is what you saw. This is what you saw. Never be too big to be guided. No matter how accurate you are, we see in part. I forgot to tell you that. That even after you have received the grace to see, you will see in part. That means the word of God that is wholesome and complete and entire must vet your visions, must vet your dreams, must vet your creativity, must vet your prophetic experiences. That way, go and listen to my message, the value of encounters. There is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error. Many people pray their way to visions but because they did not honor scripture, they started seeing things that misled them. Some of you have seen people like that. They start acting as if they are having a mental condition. It was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture. They now start, you see them misbehaving. They start talking to themselves. They will not take their bath for days. They will start looking as if they are mad people. Eventually, they will get them on admission in the hospital. I have to tell you as a responsible man of God, that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit, it is a very vast realm. What gives you stability is your respect for scripture. Otherwise, your eyes will see a lot of things. The devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother, lifting a knife, and you will get up and say, Ah! So my mother is the person behind this. And Satan has succeeded in cheating you. He took advantage of the opening of your eyes. As an, an, an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you, you will begin to hate her. This is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry. Their inability to sieve their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture. There are many people today who are called witches and wizards. There are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said, this one is this. I believe that there is witchcraft. But there are many people, an innocent husband and a wife, and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband. I see that this guy wants to destroy you. Interpreting visions has a protocol. There's no time for that now. But you need to learn to see your visions. There are many things you will see that are not necessary. You dump them and focus on that which is consistent. Everything you see does not have to be interpreted. When you are mining gold, you will fetch sand. A lot of other things will come. Push them away. You are looking for gold. Hallelujah. I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error. And for someone who is watching, I have to bring this balance as we wrap up. Everything you see 
No matter how sure you think you see or saw, make sure that you open up in scripture. And if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps, seek godly counsel. By the privilege of God's grace, we are here to help. Don't stand up and suddenly say, you know what? I had a vision. And in that vision, the Lord said, I should leave my job as a breadwinner of 10, the one who takes care of 10 people. Before you take that step, seek godly counsel. There are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes out. They can see and say, this is not what it means. Be careful. Do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents. I'm saying this as we close because there have been people, I can tell you through the years, I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life, meditation, word study, their eyes became open. Some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit, someone appeared. I know one gentleman, he's now late, long dead. The guy used to go through story by 4, 8, 4 p.m. He would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium. He would sit down there because he said there was an angel, some feminine angel that used to come to him that they would sing together. She takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around Nigeria. This guy started isolating himself from people. He started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition. I mean what I'm saying. He got into depression because he was like nobody else was his friend. He claimed they used to sing together with that being. I remember interviewing the guy and I said, describe for me the being. Once he started doing that, I said, you are, you are meeting with a familiar spirit. Oh, but she tells me good things. Behave yourself, respect parents. I said, you don't know Satan. That gentleman today has passed on to glory years ago. It is true. So I'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim. What was written was written so that it will not be changed. Your visions can be altered. I taught you here that it is written is greater than I saw. It is written is greater than I heard. If you can respect the word of God, then your seeing becomes profitable. It is not everything I've seen that is from God. It is not everything I've seen as a man of God that is worth executing. When I pass them through the lens of God's word, I find some of them wanting and I just hang them there until I grow higher to vet them again or until I dump them because I do not believe in them. You must have the maturity to respect the word of God and no matter how accurate your insights are, let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for you in Jesus' name. You will take advantage of this seen eye and in Jesus' name you will make progress in destiny. You will make progress in life. I prophesy upon you that this week beginning, let it be a week of favor. Let it be a week of breakthrough. Let doors be opened. Return on Sunday with testimonies. It will be clear from your life that God helps men. It will be clear from your life that God lifts men. It will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus. The Lord bless you and honor you. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you at the miracle service. Now I decree and declare over your finances the spirit of the waster, the spirit of poverty, lack and want that only keeps you begging and borrowing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause that spirit right now. I cause that spirit right now. I pray over your family 
everything that wants to destroy your integrity destroy your children destroy your spouse I command it to give way right now I command it to give way right now in the name of Jesus for anyone here trusting God for a job may my God visit you may my God surprise you make it may he make a way for you where there is no way in the name of Jesus hear me any business that is in debt anyone who is in debt financial crisis personally or corporately I call upon the God of Jeshurun in the name of Jesus may God arise and use men to wipe your tears may God arise and use men to take you out of shame in the name of Jesus hear me everyone who has what it takes to help you I call them helpers of destiny wherever they are I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west I gravitate your helpers towards you in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you to bring you out of shame to bring you out of calamity and misery may my God put it in their hearts to honor you Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I prophesy to you that the, the days of emptiness has come to an end now by the favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ hear me believers when men say there is a casting down I prophesy to you let it be for you that there is a lifting up a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall hurt you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ for someone here under the sound of my voice quarter to shame may God raise help for you in the name of Jesus Christ and if there is anyone here the spirit of death is roaming around your life roaming around your family to see that you don't survive and reach the end of this year I stand in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare you will live long you will live long I say it again you will live long you have no covenant with death you have no covenant with the waster in the name of Jesus whatever will bring your spiritual life down the Bible says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor sit in the seats of the scornful it says but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on that Lord doth he meditate day and night he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither then it says whatsoever he doeth prospers I pray for you any destructive relationship that the devil has brought around you to destroy your passion for God to confuse you and make spirituality look like a waste I separate you from those relationships forever receive help from the Lord receive mercy from the Lord for someone by this time next year you return back ten times better you return back ten times better ten times wiser ten times more prosperous ten times healthier in the name of Jesus and in case I did not mention your desire I release my faith with you standing upon the grace of our father and every man of God in this place we agree under the corporate anointing that every desire that brought you for this convention you will never go back with it disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Psalm 112 says blessed is a man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth you will not give birth to weak children you will not give birth to children who will kill you 
in the name of Jesus it says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever I hope you believe in the blessing of the Lord I pray for you you will not beg again I say it from the depth of my heart you will not beg again that mark of shame that is on your head that is called Ichabod everyone has said what is wrong with you where is the evidence of your serving God from today may your results answer your enemies Yeshua HaMashiach Komi Nanakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komi Nanakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komi Nanakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komi Nanakane The Lord is saying, I am looking for someone here who is prepared to be a sacrifice. I want to use you as, as a spectacular display of my glory. But there are still things you are withholding. There are still things you are withholding. And the Lord wants you to cry in the next one minute. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. There are many of you, there are relationships you love more than God. There are business deals you love more than God. No. This realm of sacrifice, there are few people who have gotten there. There are pastors, maybe listening to me. The secret is not just your prayer. The secret is not just your fasting. You have prayed, Jesus prayed. You have fasted, Jesus fasted. You studied the word. But when your all becomes poured like a drink offering, you have approached a, a realm in the spirit where you will see the hand of God. I want to give you the next one minute. I apologize for stretching the time. Whether you want to lie down, whether you want to cry, you're going to say, Lord, this is me, all of me. I surrender everything, everything. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, meet it with God. I'm withholding nothing. I surrender all to you. Everything I give. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It is the hand of God you desire. Listen to what you are saying. I'm withholding nothing. Sing it. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Will you give yourself away? That's a question that God is asking you tonight. Will you give yourself away so He can use you? You answer now. I give myself away. Was you pray? Just take a minute. You are not wasting your time. Father, every idol and everything that has stopped your hand from resting, 
resting upon my life, resting upon my finances. Ah, your, your arms are not too short that you cannot bring deliverance. You have seen it from scripture that the hand of God can create, the hand of God can sustain, the hand of God can judge the wicked. The hand of God can bring deliverance. It can bring redemption. The hand of God can lift man. And he was surely given. Hear me. Man of God. The secret to being in ministry is to forget about ministry and focus on him loving him giving your all pouring your all then you will find ministry businessman some can trust in horses and chariots but when god's hand decides to bring you a thing it preserves it keeps for someone here you have tried and tried and tried god brought you to the oasis conference because he's saying stop this this up and down does not give god glory waking up in the morning and sleeping late in the night hustling through life only to eat the bread of sorrow help those under the anointing please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself when the glory comes There'll be no words to say. trusted in things of lesser value but he's showing you the path to the hand of God the hand of God is not just the name of a conference it's an experience that you can have and carry it can become your habitation your reality but only if your heart is stayed on revealing Jesus seeing that his will is birthed perpetually through your life that you walk in obedience that you live a life of worship. Huh. Paul and Silas, they prayed. But when they sang, the Bible tells us that his mighty power came, descended upon that prison room, and all doors opened. Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into three if you can. We're going to spend the remaining just three, three. If there's nobody there, just make it two or whatever. But please, we're going to pray. Help them under the anointing. We're going to pray. Just two, three minutes. You're going to begin to pray in the spirit. Find any hand you find there and begin to pray and make declarations over the person's hand you are holding in the name of Jesus. I declare, I come as a prophetic rainmaker. Come on, Koinonia. Following from your home. Hold the hands of your children if you can. Hold the hand of your wife, your husband. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Whoever you find. Touch and agree by faith. I am a prophetic rainmaker. I program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister. No more losses. No more failure. In the name of Jesus. Superior wisdom. Superior favor. Higher levels of power. Higher levels of grace. Strange breakthroughs by the Spirit. 
Pray. The anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray and declare. It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season of exploits and impact for Jesus by the Spirit. The hand of God is upon me. Therefore, I speak in Psalms. I speak in hymns. I speak in spiritual songs. Making melody in my heart even unto God. No failure in the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light, shining ever brighter, even unto the perfect day. The Lord is my light and salvation. In the name of Jesus, I rise by revelation. The mighty hand of God is upon me. When men say there is a casting down, I declare by the Spirit that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, the God of Joshua is arising for me by the power of the Holy Spirit. I am blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Koinonia is blessed, revealing Jesus, bringing him glory across the nations of the earth. declare pray over your brother I rebuke the plan of the devil over his life over her life in the name of Jesus perfect health perfect soundness you will not die before your time in the name of Jesus your relevance will not be cut short the spirit of the waster is far from you pray of nations, the gates of territories are opening by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, the sick are healed, oppressed delivered, the confused find direction, sinners come to Jesus. Pray for Nigeria, declare over Nigeria. Nigeria will not fall. Nigeria will not be destroyed for the sake of the elect of God. No matter the schemings of darkness, the purposes of God over this nation, over Africa, and you who is watching by, or by television, pray for your nation. Mention the name of your nation. South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, Uganda, Central African Republic, Cameroon, declare by the Spirit, Cote d'Ivoire, Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned. And by your words you are justified. Hallelujah. I want to speak over your life. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No word you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. One more time. No shadow you will light up. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your turn, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your turn. I take a I take it back to your turn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words i stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of jesus i cancel every word speaking against you to every word speaking against you for the bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic I cancel it now where they said you will fall I prophesy stand where they said you will not rise I speak fly not only rise in the name of Jesus where they say you will not find helpers. You will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire. You will lose your relevance. You will lose your bishopric. You will lose your lampstand. I prophesy. 30 years from now if Christ tarries you will still be standing. final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain, your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come. I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain. May your rain begin to fall. Those of you in ministry, I announce to you this is your season of exploits no power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life 
those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry we clear the way for your relevance in the name of Jesus those of you who are businessmen here and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word I declare in the name of Jesus receive strange help from God and for everyone here who is in need of restoration may God do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year hallelujah wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise wave your hands to Jesus a wave offering is a mystery in the spirit thank you Jesus we bless you we receive this by faith hallelujah 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 the Bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the Lord in your life in the next five minutes I like you to lift up your voice before I bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a God who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting God to reveal himself as a God of increase some of you are trusting God for speed trusting God for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of destiny. The maker of businesses. The maker of ministries. There are walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations. First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore, the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest, but it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon. But the Bible says Satan hindered us. Are you ready to pray? You're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the God of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of Christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus I come against every hindrance every mountain who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain career mountains spiritual mountains financial mountains mountains stopping your influence and your visibility 
lift your voice and begin to pray. Shepakatoska branda katada ba. Eke te prende kasoga balakata. Shebrete katoska na kashada bakata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Paris Calibranda Gadusia. Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says, once upon a time, we we'll read 13, 14, and 15. The Bible says the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you when? Today. You can choose another day, but I make up my mind. Today. It says, for the Egyptians, Kabarus Kiyapata. This is a word for someone. The Egyptians, the disappointment. I know it happened in 2013, 14, 15. Don't get used to pain. Don't get used to disappointment. God is about to show up. He said, the Egyptians, whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14. The Lord the god of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar hallelujah the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me he says speak to the children of israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of jesus i refuse to remain here god of wonders arise push me forward i need advancement in my life if someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray hallelujah in the name of jesus we are still praying first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray hallelujah praise the lord you're not wasting your time psalm 45 verse 12 something is happening to someone psalm 45 verse 12 i receive it for myself psalm 45 and verse 12 and the daughter of tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah hallelujah please look up one of the reasons why god steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost 
are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so god made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed these these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time eventually you will find expression we are going to pray these two things it says and i will restore years the first restoration you need is not things i will restore years number two the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray Speed! Speed! Kaparus Kemanakata! Speed in my destiny! Speed in my life! Speed in ministry! Ten years in one year! Ten years in one year! Speed in business! the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities i assure you in the name of jesus restoration by the god of wonders restoration in the name of jesus and the fortunes of job were restored to him the fortunes of job were restored to him declare speed over your life lord give Give me speed, give me speed, give me speed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah, Calibranda Gatosiata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night, could not the king sleep? And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget Joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door they sought to slay the king verse 3 the king said what honor and dignity had been done to mordecai for this listen to me there are times in our lives where we give our best some of us have served people for years some of us raise many children they are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city 
and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done I hope you know it was not only Mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when God is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of Jesus father I declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predetermined counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the God of wonders, the ministry of destiny help us. Listen to me. There's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us. That if they do not show up in your life, believe me, you will never rise. Not in this life. I assure you. I wish I had time I would have shown you from scripture. But very quickly, number one. The first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people gifted people gifted people from the protocol to your worship team and everyone give this a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you 
gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth i mean like ruth was to naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than i'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, cre their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonders should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny help us lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger we're going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can i tell you this sincerely i admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight i'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir i'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what i'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what i'm saying this is a prophetic word i stand by the spirit of grace and i'm telling you that a new season a new season the bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace i'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of disability 
authority even by the spirit of grace i'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting god for infirmities in your body you see i hope you don't mistaken what i'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of god's grace sir would you be embarrassed if i talk to you i'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what i'm seeing a door what do you have to do with music i'm seeing a door this was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years and the lord is saying here i'm opening it again this is what i'm saying you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. In the name of Jesus, I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Sir. Where is home? He's at home in Abuja. In Abuja here. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you, both of you. God is about. I'm seeing this man cry. There has been help, please. There has been constraints, but God Himself is giving you a visitation even by the spirit of god listen i prophesy to you i don't care what it is that has held you down i stand by the god of heaven here in the name of jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level i clear it out of the way in the name of jesus i clear it out of the way i'm hearing a name martha martha please help me guys volume martha who is martha I'm hearing a name Martha we have to be very very fast Martha this is the name that the Lord is giving me I want to pray for that person right now that every plague of darkness every plague of darkness are we together so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if it's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your heart be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 
28 people the hand of God is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that God should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of Jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of Jesus please bring them out favor Kali favor by the supernatural hand of God bring them out we are praying now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will, i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring those people out. There are men and women. There are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed. God of wonders, I pray that at the count of three, may that mantle and that grace come upon people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Speed. Please help them. Help them. Speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Help this man, please. Hallelujah. That every planting that is not of the Lord over the life and the family of anyone, it must give way now. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare right now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitire tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout Jesus right now I command those powers because right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of Jesus Christ I set on fire every altar that is not of God yokes of darkness I declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands Kepakosh in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing 
in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing blessing who is blessing i'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people i'm see some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you are preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this person my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring of our wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season deborah's are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are deborah Hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus Senas Kalibari Hato Sena, Empra Katekatos Kanemala Hasa, Shayendes Kamenekotos Kabra, Atelas Kabane Katos Yangera, Shabrende Dos Kembari Katos. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm still, I don't know why God is still saying to speak over women. There are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 take that 
that grace right now. Hallelujah. Madam, this woman with green, yes, lift your hands. Is, are you husband and wife, sir? Lift your hands, both of you. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you. I'm stretching my hands. Take that grace, both of you. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God, drink of this grace. Step into new dimensions in the spirit. Help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Be the same. By the spirit of the living God. hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you Mateus Kani Parahasia and it has refused to open I come by the road of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be open hidden Tita Ephata be open hidden Tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of Jesus I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says, and I will restore the years. Everything you have lost in time. Please believe this one. I stand again in agreement. And we declare over you and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, the grace that brings restoration. Drink of that grace. Drink of that grace. Supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now
it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ I pray for those who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I use this wonderful man of God who ministered what an amazing vessel you are in the name that is above all names I declare I use him as a point of where's the gentleman he's not here in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you my dear one you will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus and I use him as a point of contact anyone here who is in the music ministry genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of Jesus we tear the veil and we announce you I release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of Jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the Spirit in the name of Jesus let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time. But it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy. Standing in partnership with the man of God. You should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you. And they dug a well and the Philistines covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. Then they dug the third one and they left them. They called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names. Between now and the end of this year, have your own space. I give you your own portion in this city, in this land. In in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with God I know that but I want you to agree with God and say Lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year I tell you if, you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Open strange doors. 
doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take me. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout yourself down in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed a sign to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life. I challenge you by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Ancestral powers, yokes, spirits, ordinances written in the heavenlies, projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious. Lift your voice and pray. I release their ministry. Release my helpers to come into my destiny. Release favor. I release angels. Over Koinonia, the angels assigned over Koinonia. We release you by the word of God. The angels assigned over God's people. We release you. We release you. We release you. We release you in the name of Jesus. Bring miracles. Bring signs. Bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations. It's not that they are not there. The obstacles are there. But God's word does not explain. It creates. God 
will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket the ten thousand finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left god because of fear in the name of jesus i challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia i declare in the name of jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear i refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia are you praying tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism Satan in the name of Jesus Father every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you I must receive that testimony lift your voice and pray I wrestle with prophecy I agree I agree you said you will heal my father I still believe you said you will heal my mother I still believe you said you will prosper my business prosper my ministry I still believe please lift your hands i want to pray for you i'm a believer i'm a believer when you dare to believe god and understand what it takes to get the results you need i pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed i challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over nigeria released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like god's word is not working i command that power to bow in the name of jesus i command that power to bow in the name of jesus number two i pray for you the kind of speed that you have not seen from Je i ask the god that i serve to give you that speed in the name of jesus that he will perform his word hastily hastily in the name of jesus number three i pray for you with all my heart every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood you look at it all the time but you are, you listen to the messages help them please but you have not gotten it 
I speak upon your spirit. May an unction chaparatokaya, the unction that teaches men things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you, they must answer your parents, they must answer your loved ones. I pray for you for every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact i pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night i don't care how short the time is i decree and i ask the lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life may he reproduce that testimony in your life anyone here hold on please who is sick in any part of your body any nonsense the devil has planted whether you call it fibroid whether you call it menstrual pain whether you say barrenness impotency whether you call it migraine ss as bad dreams witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god i tell you i see fire falling on people that's what i see in the spirit fire people are getting healed may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now may the fire of the holy ghost i say it again standing upon this grace may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life anyone here called ss as i command that genotype change now any stranger you were not born with if you were not born with it breast lump fibroid ovarian cyst any devil sitting on your body your body must glorify god tonight therefore i curse that devil i curse that spirit i curse that devil i curse that spirit everything that has stopped you from being productive i prophesy to your hands your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teaches thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then who could ever stop us?
our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, Every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat, go down flat, financial walls, go down flat, career walls, go down flat in the name of Jesus. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that was sent for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more faithful more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen, it's a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over. Step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. Prepared 
I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepare blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you Anyone here who the testimony over your life is ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. Says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory 
and face speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. For anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be open in the name of Jesus Delay be gone. Delay be gone. Delay delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete natu sabadi adata. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service here or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command fearful supernatural job. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every room called Barry. I don't care whether the room has been removed or not. Right now. In nine months time. You will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands. Up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families i see miscarriage of children every plague of death i command it to pass over you forever in the name of jesus
he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows the anointing that brings you above i call you in the realm of the spirit rise up in the name of jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with god and with men as surely as the lord god of israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place hiv cancer in the name of jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus ss as we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the lord is telling me let god's people walk through it and move forward in their life i command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it i place you inside it i take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life i release it move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you every egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an egyptian as surely as the lord god of israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace we take your miracle take your miracle Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today. In the name that is above all names. I command it to multiply. This 
is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic preaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind, in my body, around my life, hear the word of the Lord. I cast you out of my life now. Lift your voice and pray.
in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command I command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside I command deliverance now I command deliverance now let the daughters of Jacob protest their possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leading people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes you can do anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation. Right now in the name of Jesus I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. Shaka skota ba shaka biasa. Embra kato sabaro kato shakete balakaya. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic place. Help your wife. Shasakatos kaparakata. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God speak to go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, 
that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Shakatos, Emplant, Kana sone asha maria kata shakras kote baka posa maria kata eko shama ma sana da kata reke teke teke te eska mara kapos kaba zatia 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 sekende kos braka pos kari kata in the name that is above all names I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones, they once worked, they once married, they once had children, they once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time, I was rich. Once upon a time, I was married. Once upon a time, I was on fire for God. Once upon a time, I was a pastor. I had a church. No, the part of the trust is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow, right now at the count of three, I declare that spirit must let you go. One, two, three, let them go now. Let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood-related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. Hold on, please. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw 
like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen we are, this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady i'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now let there be restoration now the lord is showing me someone every time you see someone die in the dream a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that i don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare all death where is thy sting all grave where is thy victory i prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your mind must change. Your mind must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. For the next two or three minutes, I'm going to allow you with the Lord Jesus Christ, verbalize your expectation. Please open your mouth and cry to the Lord. That which you desire him to do in this miracle service. Please pray. Shaleke perako sata brada kaska debeledos. Shalanta skafrada gebereka tosiata. Someone is verbalizing his expectation. The expectation of the righteous shall not be caught short. Salata paratos kafranda geberetos kalika brasigetesh. Man of God. What do you desire the Lord to do in this season where the wave of his glory, the wave of revival is sweeping from nation to nation? I repeat to you again, we are in the days of his power. We are in the days of his power. We are in the days of apostolic signs and wonders heralding the end time move of Jesus across the nations. Hala barakatas kavranda gabereto sikata. Businessman, what do you desire that God does in this season, where He's raising men and giving men the wealth of nations to frontier the purposes of the kingdom? Shata balakas. Safras kata balakoto sodo balakato ziata. One more minute. Don't be silent.
pray. You're a man of God, I like you to declare. I'm tired of doing ministry without genuine power. Tired of the difficulty experience in calling many to Jesus, drawing many to Jesus. Oh, for they need to come and come in their multitudes. We are in the days of his power. My Bible says the people shall be willing. A few more seconds. Hallelujah. Listen, maybe one day when we have the opportunity and we're teaching, I will share with you a bit of my story and how I sought for and pursued some of these graces that God has so graciously made available today.